Hey everybody, so my name is Gabriel Flores and I'm going to be showing you how to do a three phase rectifier problem or how to solve a problem we were given for my midterm two. So I walk over here, this is the first page, the instruction page. Now if you need to uh, pause the video for a second and uh, look at the directions, that would be fine. So we got VAB is 120 volts. VBC is negative 60, so BC, all good, and then VCA is negative 60, so that will keep that in mind, and there are six diodes, and a resistor, and the resistor is 10 ohms, so we're going to remember that, and V0 is the voltage drop across the resistor. Now, we're going to hop over here, and this page, it's totally optional too, gives us the conditions for the diodes. Now, if we look at this drawing, we're going to see, okay, ID1 is shorted. VD2, VD3, VD4, VD6 are open, and ID5 is shorted. So, uh, we and what the thing is asking for, it's asking to confirm if the output voltage V0 equals plus positive 120 volts at time equals 0.25 seconds. So, and first we're going to establish the conditions. Now, whenever you have a short, you're going to have zero voltage because it's negligible. It's incredibly small. So we're not going to worry about that, which is great. So, and then VD2 and VD3, VD4, VD6 are all open circuits, which means there's going to be a negative voltage drop across those areas, which basically means here it's going to be less. It's going to be a zero, and then this is going to be negative number or it depends it's just a negative voltage drop it's that's what matters right now so we're going to test the conditions and this is this page is all it is just showing id1 is shorted so that has a positive voltage i mean sorry positive current negative and voltage is zero and then that's the same for id5 and then diode two three four and six all going to be negative voltage and zero current and we can see that just by looking at it. So that's really nice, it's an easy step. Now next, we're gonna actually get to the solving. So it says verify conditions and state all laws used. So I used Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. And I'm gonna show you why. So the first part I did, I decided to make a uh, voltage uh, loop. And I did my voltage going in such direction which means my passive sign convention is going to be going clockwise. So we'll keep that in mind. Now, <clears throat> I want to do the voltage drop across the resistor, and I don't want any of these voltages to get in the way, so I'm going to do it through the shorts. So I have the A node. I'm going to go all the way up to, through ID1, or the current through diode 1, and I'm going to go across the, voltage, across the resistor, which is V0, or VR, as I said in my problem, and I'm going to go through ID5 and then back to B. So now if we jump back over here, I go from A to uh, current of D1, across the voltage, uh, across the resistor, voltage across the resistor, which is VR or V0 as I stated, and then it goes current of D, uh, diode five, back to B, negative node, positive node. So we only have two variables basically, and one of them is unknown. So we'll just solve for that. The other one is perfectly known. So 120 volts right here. And we're going, we're going to go clockwise. So negative, we're going to make that negative. 120 volts, positive, plus uh, the voltage across resistor, which e and if we or do our algebra correctly, we should get the volt V naught equals 120 volts. Now I did this a little out of order, but down here you'll notice that I took the 120 volts and I did Ohm's law. So V equals I times R. We know what R is, so we found the current based off of 10 ohms and 120 divided by 10. That was easy. So now we're going to establish all the other uh, identities. So in this part, I did uh, diode 1 and diode 6. I did KVL. So I know what diode 1 is. That's a current, so there's no voltage to worry about. And I know that, and I did the same uh, tracing uh, as I did on this problem right here. I did the same tracing for this and I got C, negative 60, and A. So that's great. So now I got C and then positive node, negative number, so that's going to be negative 60. And 
I got ID 1, which is nothing. I got v, uh, 120 volts because that's the V naught, so perfect. Got that. Got 120 volts, uh, minus 60, and then VD6. We don't know what that is. Now we do because I just added those together. I got 60 plus uh, VD6, and then I moved it over. Algebra worked out. I got 60 volts. For KV, I did KVL, D2, and D6. I know what v, VD6 is. So I did all this math right here, 60, 60 volts, 120, negative 60 equals negative VD2, which is negative 120. Now that's the same value as D4, and the D6, D3 are the same value as well. Now I found something cool. If you notice here, ID1 is gonna be pushing back on VD2 with 120 volts, so therefore it has to be true.